So what's up everyone? This is me, Satyansh Sharma, B.Tech second year student at IIT Jammu in Electrical Engineering, and this is going to be a podcast series on Uchai's channel, in which we're going to feature uh, good rank holders of J Advanced as well as J Mains, so that the upcoming J aspirants get a good idea on how to secure such good ranks. So the first podcast is going to be with Abhiraj. Who has secured an All India rank of eight thousand three hundred fifty five in JE Advanced twenty twenty two? So Abhiraj, will you please introduce yourself? Uh, hi, my name is Abhiraj Singh. Uh, I have done my class tenth from uh, Maharashtra and my class twelfth also from there. Uh, during my eleventh, I joined Bakliwal. Then I had to leave it, and then I joined another coaching. Basically, I left and joined a lot. and in the end i joined a personalized coaching which was basically a teacher who had known and uh, who taught uh, 10 students at all after that uh, 11th was not taken very seriously by me although i had tried but i didn't have the right direction and uh, after moving on to 12th i realized that there's a lot of stuff that i need to work on so i joined an online teaching uh, website called an academy and also later on joined many test series from allen and fitty uh, i gave my j mains got a rank of uh, 35000 which was not expected and uh, before my j advanced i actually contracted uh, dengue so i wasn't able to give it up to my mark so i uh, took a decision to take a drop and uh, try again next year that's when i uh, was looking for some mentorship so i got to know about unchai So I enrolled in the program, and also enrolled in one of the Fitji centers here, and then did my self study from an academy, and uh, with God's grace, I got a twenty thousand rank in J mains and an eight thousand three hundred fifty five rank in J advanced. So yeah, that so is about me. Congratulations, Abhiraj. And before asking any question, let me ask you: How are you feeling after your J advanced results? I mean, it's mixed feelings, I guess. May happiness and excitement and kind of uh, don't know what to do. Kind of a feeling. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you said that you didn't take your class eleventh seriously, which most of the J S parents definitely do. So, despite yeah. wasting your class eleventh, you secured a good rank. And how did basically Uchai help you in your preparation? Uh. Unchai, uh, actually, I didn't have a sort of a person who would guide me in sort of a personalized way, because uh, you know people don't have that much time to spend with you. Uh, after uh, enrolling into Unchai, the mentors over there were quite helpful, and they would uh, give you daily tasks and they would check on you how you were doing, and basically it gave you sort of a confidence that you were getting some guidance by an IIT. so basically the person knew what he was doing so you were on the right track so i guess that gave me some confidence and also the regular checks that as well okay so how is uchai different from other mentorship programs what do you feel has its been unique feature of the uchai uh, basically i think the ability to contact the mentor personally not through any app you can directly contact them without any uh, uh fixation of an appointment per se uh, as per your own comfort and plus you have a option of getting subject mentors as well so i mean you can post your doubts and that becomes easier for people who don't have that much facility to clear their doubts so i guess that way okay and how do ochai mem- mentors help you during your preparation basically uh what tell us everything that they do so basically first of all they want to know what uh, what where you are standing before you are initialized and after that be, they help you according to your preparation level so say like i was a person who had already done my j preparation before enrolling and so they uh, made my uh, structured my progress according to that so i was given different different kind of tasks as compared to people who have would have just enrolled like who are just giving the j for the first time mm-hmm. and many i mean uh, they take personal good care of you i mean they'll talk to you whenever you want and they'll respond to your doubts even smallest doubts like 
I'm feeling uh, kind of uh, I'm having a bad feeling and I'm I'm nervous or whatever. They'll comfort you and they'll basically be there for you. I guess that basically uh, they boost your J preparation. If you have a certain level of uh, you know idea about J, right? Yeah, you have to have a certain benchmark, and then they'll be able to help you. And Abhiraj, definitely, uh, you would have done some mistakes in both class eleventh. 12th as well as during your yeah. drop journey and everyone mi- makes mistakes we have also made mistakes and we keep suggesting the students not to make them so i would request right. you to state few mistakes which you would like the future je aspirants not to make uh, first of all is uh, if you are in your class 11th please please it's a serious request please don't be that uh, engrossed in your books all the time give some time uh, outside your j preparation to relax your mind it actually helps you boost your preparation i i also used to be engrossed uh, in even in my school i was not enrolled in a dummy school i was constantly solving j preparation books but actually it did me more harm than good so you have to let loose sometimes not all the time but maybe half an hour of daily meditation that might help to calm your nerves and uh, also if you have a certain doubt i mean you must have heard a lot of people say this get it cleared immediately i mean i was one of the person who thought okay maybe whatever we might i'll ask these things later but you have to get those doubts cleared immediately no matter how stupid they sound or whatever they are if it's for your own personal benefit then you should get it clear and you must not lose hope i mean like many people see like the other people like getting high scores and all of these are just like test matches so like in test matches you can just play for i mean nobody knows what's going to happen later right so don't lose hope just keep on going and you'll definitely i mean get what you want and at the end of the day uh, this exam has a lot of uh, factors attached to it your luck counts your preparation counts so if your results are good then yes it's great but even if they are not then be sure then that your hard work won't go to waste that it will be used elsewhere so at the end of the day you are learning something worthwhile and please keep this in mind while you are preparing experience the journey not the goal that should be your main aim so basically chase after excellence not your goal that's what i want to say that was really great advice from you abhiraj and uh, one last message for j2023 aspirants as right. they have uh, only 4 to 5 months left uh so uh, i'm sure you must have done your preparation by now now it's just the time to brush up and uh, focus on your strong concepts uh don't try to cover up too much weak concepts because even 60 to 70% of your syllabus is enough to get your seat in a good iit and uh, i mean listen to your teachers because they'll be your best help at this time and of course your mentors because they'll guide you the best these last few months were also very hectic for me because you have a lot of things into play you are you are actually kind of sad that you weren't able to complete a lot of things then you're kind of nervous how will the exam be so just keep these things aside give yourself a few like minutes maybe a half an hour or something as i said a break to just go out walk cycle maybe do something not very uh, risky but something for your physical activity because that will help you me- uh, memorize well and uh, yeah just take it easy and code na okay so thanks abhiraj for joining us right. on the platform and all the very best for your future i hope you will definitely get a good college with a good branch thank you thank you